Have you ever carried and brought your own food with you while you were in abroad? Well, have you ever been to a stock farm immediately after your trip abroad? Korea's border quarantine at the airport or port to prevent the influx of foreign animal infections such as food and mouth disease, highly pathogenic avian influenza, and African swine fever. Most livestock and raw fruits are not imported. Major restricted items include meats such as beef, pork, lamb, processed meats such as jerky, sausage, ham, jangjorim, agricultural products such as raw fruits, vegetables, nuts, and plants such as seeds and seedlings. These items are also restricted to international mail. Also, you should be careful not to bring in restricted items such as livestock and raw fruits if you invite your family such as your parents. If you do not report animal or plant items brought in by hand, you will be fined up to 5 million won. People who work in stock farms are prohibited from entering farm and livestock shed for 5 days after the overseas trip. Also, wash your clothes that you were wearing while you were on your overseas trip right after entering Korea and please take care of personal hygiene such as taking showers. Also, you should wear working clothes and boots for farm work and sterilize your shoes when entering the livestock shed. You are a quarantine officer who makes Korea a clean country. The South Korean government has decided to allow 56,000 foreign workers to come in through the employment permit system this year. This is the same number of workers allowed to enter Korea for the past three consecutive years. Among the 56,000 foreign workers to be hired this year, the number of new entrants has decreased by 2,000 from the previous year to 43,000 and the number of re-entering workers has increased by more than 2,000 from the last year to become 13,000. Sector-wise, the largest number of workers, 40,700, has been assigned to the manufacturing industry, with 6,400 in the agriculture and dairy industries, 2,500 in fishery, and 2,300 in the construction industry. The manufacturing sector, which has a lot of demand, is allocated with workforce four times a year in January, April, July, and October, and 60% of allocation carried out in the first half of the year to ensure a smooth supply of labor. The seasonal sectors of fishery, agriculture, and dairy have allocations in the month of January, April, and October, while the construction industries have allocation in January, April, and July. On the other hand, it has been decided to keep the number of working permit for overseas Koreans at the same level as last year at 303,000 workers. However, the government decided to modify the construction industry employment registration system to limit the number of additional overseas Korean workers employed up to a maximum of 5,000 people, depending on the crackdown on unregistered construction workers. As the government has put the freeze on the quota of foreign workers for the past three years and strengthened the crackdown on unregistered foreign residents, it seems that the solution for the workforce shortage of small and medium-sized business is not showing improvement. We hope that this year will be a healthy and pleasant year for all migrants in all ways. At MN TV, we receive video clips about accident and incident as well as news report related to immigrants. If you would like to report, please call us or contact us via email.